Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and downgrade your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch uh, if you have updated to 11.2 back down to 11.1.2 if you have any interest in uh, possibly jailbreaking your phone or your iPod Touch or your iPad as there has been a, a jailbreak or not a full jailbreak exploit but there has been a iOS exploit that has been released um, that works basically on uh, iOS 11.1.2 and below and there is a possibility uh, there's nothing confirmed at this point but there is a possibility that there could be a uh, iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak it is recommended that you go ahead and downgrade your device so that you can have the ability to jailbreak if you you know still want to um, as Apple is still signing iOS 11.1.2, which means that you can restore to it in iTunes. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at how to do today. Uh, the best part of this whole thing is that not only is it you know super easy and super simple to do, but you're not going to lose any of your phones or you know or your iPads data. This method that I'm going to be showing you today will allow you to keep all of your phones or your iPads data. Uh, so this is not going to be formatting the device at all. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, head on over to this website, IPSW.me. Uh, this is a very useful website that will basically allow you to download an iOS IPSW. You, you know, you can download, as you can see, a ton of different IPSWs for all of the Apple products here. So if you're on an iPhone, you just want to click on the iPhone button right here. And you want to choose what your model is. Now, for me personally, I'm using an iPhone 6S, but you, you know, just want to go to... Uh, whatever you know phone that you have um, some of them as you can see are you know, like you have to know if you're on like a gsm or a cdma carrier for me it's super easy with a 6s as there's only one um, so i'm just going to click on that right here and you can see up here at signed ipsws apple is still signing uh, 11.2 11.1.2 and 11.1.1 you could go back to 11.1.1 if you want to um, but me personally, I'm just going to go back to 11.1.2. Um, but you know, if you feel that there might be like a, a you know a stronger chance for an iOS 11.1.1 jailbreak, which there might be, uh, you can go ahead and download this firmware. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and download 11.1.2. Uh, I have already downloaded this, so I'm not going to redo it again. Uh, but what you would do is just uh, click on the download button here. Once you've got the you know this downloaded, which this this does take a while depending on your internet connection. For me, it took about you know 20, 30 minutes or so um, because these are you know pretty large files. Um, you want to uh, open up iTunes here, and what you want to do in iTunes is you want to first plug in your iPhone to your computer. So I'm going to do that right here. So I have my iPhone plugged in now. You want to let iTunes recognize it, and I'm just going ahead and cancel this sync here. And you can back up your device if you want to. I already have a full backup, and as you can see, it's going to go ahead and just back up anyway up there. There's really nothing else that you have to do here besides you want to wait for this backup to finish up. And what you want to do is I'm, I'm just going to kind of show you what to do here. You know, while that it's you know that it's like still backing up. If you're on Windows, uh, you want to press and hold down the Shift key and then click on Check for Update. And it's going to bring up a file browser here and you want to browse to that IPSW. If you're on a Mac, you want to press the option key instead of the shift key and click on update. And make sure that you do check for update and not restore iPhone because if you do restore, it'll wipe all your phone's data. If you do check for update, it will actually allow you to basically downgrade the firmware um, back to 11.1.2 without uh, losing any of your data. So I'm going uh, going to go ahead and select my IPSW in here and I'm going to go ahead and click open and I want it to uh, finish up with it syncing and all of that before that I update it to 11.1.2. So I'm just you know, going to go ahead and let it copy all of its information. So just in case anything goes wrong, it is a good idea to have a full backup of your phone on iTunes so that in case something gets screwed up during the downgrading process, you have a full backup to restore to. So we're gonna go ahead and click update. It's gonna go ahead and extract the software right there. That is pretty much it for this video. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this useful, if you're excited for this possible uh, iOS jailbreak, definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Definitely be sure to like this video if it helped you out. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the near future, uh, definitely be sure to subscribe. Uh, to the channel as I will be doing them. As always, guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.